Yo, what is up guys? Today is August 7th and I wanted to make this video real quick. Um, it's gonna be a pretty short video, but as the title suggests, I'm gonna be talking about my August crypto portfolio strategy and how I'm approaching you know, what I think is a continued bear market. Um, first things first, this is not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing and you know, everyone should do their own thing. I'm not a financial advisor, so not financial advice. I think I'm supposed to say that in these videos. Um, but my strategy is just gonna be continue to do what I have been doing, uh, which first of all, the first thing about crypto is you have to dollar cost average in because these are extraordinarily volatile. Pardon the sirens. Pretty rare occurrence that you get sirens in Oklahoma, but um, yeah, so the strategy is continued dollar cost averaging of three different coins in particular. The first one is uh, obviously Bitcoin, which if you are just getting into crypto, you gotta start with Bitcoin. The other two are Monero and Zcash. And what I wanna talk about is sort of the percentages that I'm doing uh, with my dollar cost averaging. 80% um, of the mon new money that I put in is going towards Bitcoin. Uh, the other 20% is going towards Zcash and Monero uh, with a 10% split on each. Um, I'll probably make a video in the future talking about my portfolio and exactly why I've chosen this distribution uh, for investing. But yeah, I think it's just important to, as we go into this continued you know, summer months, um, there's obviously been a lot of good news with the Intercontinental Exchange announcing that they're you know, going to be um, allowing Bitcoin on their new uh, platform backed. I think that we'll probably see some other cryptocurrencies uh, shortly after that also come along with um, you know that announcement and just continue to hodl strong guys I know this has been a really tough bear market this is my first bear market um, since getting into crypto and yeah it's I guess people say it's hard but it's really not hard if you are confident in what you're doing and if you're fucking around with shit coins it probably is hard but you know if you're just if you're sticking to Bitcoin and you understand what's going on, you understand the technology, you understand the thesis, um, you know, it's it's really not that hard because you just see these lower price points and you just see it as an opportunity to acquire more Bitcoin. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.